So, here's what's going on. Basically, uh, if you'll give me a second. Sorry about that. Voice mod is being a piece of crap. Anyways, this is the stupidest article I've ever seen. Tired of seeing this. They're robots. They are robots. For the last time. Let's just read this crap. According to a leaked memo, director Michael Bay is P-worded off at Paramount Pictures for not putting enough hype on his new sequel. What do you mean not enough hype? The marketing... There were... <sighs> really? <sighs> I don't... Well, Michael Bay... Well, we already know Michael Bay's an idiot, so... Anyways. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Having seen it, we can't help but wonder if Marilyn is keeping quiet because this flick about... Water... I don't know. Alien robots transform into a vehicle for racism. This is what vehicle for? <laughs> That's just stupid. All right, those of black people didn't catch a bad enough time for from Jar Jar Binks. I hate how. What? Why? Why do people think Jar Jar is racist? You know, I can see where people are coming from, Skids and Mudflap. But Jar Jar? He's an alien. He's a clumsy alien. People are saying he's a stereotype of black people. How? Like, I don't get it. They're saying, I don't know, it has something to do with the way he talks, but he just talks like a an alien. It's dumb. I don't get it. Also, he's played by a black person. Remember that. I'm at best. So, alright. The black voice skids and mudflap or the 2009 version of whatever this show is. It's hard to believe a big money director would show his A word like this. In what projects to be a much watched blockbuster? But maybe he's gotten too comfortable hanging out with his boy. Oh, oh, whatever. Check out seven reasons why Transformers 2 might be racist. I actually heard someone saying Wheelie was racist. What? What? He has like a Brooklyn accent. He's just a robot who gets mad at everything. How is. I don't get it. He's not as bad as G1 Wheelie, who was annoying as crap and kept rhyming every word he said. At least this Wheelie's funny. Alright. Skids and Mudflaps sound suspiciously like... Well, if these are slurs, then I don't want to say them. Tell us how you really feel. No. Hold on. Sorry about that. Anyways. Let's get back to this crap. Okay. Skids not only has old sk So now they're... So, okay, so now they're saying because he has a gold tooth, he's racist? Well, saying that, it, it's just saying that is racist because... You know, more, you know, a lot of people have gold teeth, right? If anything, that's more of a stereotype for like pirates or something, not. I don't get it. I don't get what some of these people. The Quins constantly fight? <laughs> what? This. <laughs> What? 
Okay. There were... Oh, hold on. I need to do some research. Is Complex a parody news site? Here. Look, I, I need to see. There is no way... Okay, so they're not a parody website. That is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. They're stereotypes because they fight. What? The fact that I had to see if this was a parody site or not just proves how stupid this article is. Alright, Skids and Mudfat refer to Leo, the Latino college student played by Ramen as a shrimp taco. And? I'm reading this. I, I don't even know what to say. This is just stupid. I can kind of see a little bit where they're coming from, but, I mean, really? Shrimp taco? I don't see how that's a slur. That's just, I don't know. It's nothing. Oh, great. Now they're talking about their vehicle modes being racist. It's like when people say, I don't know. Twins vehicular incarnation, they're flashy, compact racing cars. What? So because they transform into a certain type of car, they're racist. What? I don't get it. <laughs> okay. The hip hop jive that skids and mudfly. Only skids. They're talking about how uh, they're voiced by a white person. Only skids is. And yes, it is Tom Kenny, you know, SpongeBob. But yeah, Tom Kenny, yes, he voices skids. He does not voice mudflap. Mudflap is actually voiced by a black person. So these people didn't even do the research properly and look at the voice cast. Yes, Tom Kenny voiced Skids, but he did not voice Mudflap. What? Oh, they're talking about that. Okay, let me explain this. So people are saying they're stereotypes because they can't read. They say they don't do much reading. I don't think any Transformer does much reading. They can't really read considering they're huge. And, you know, books would be tiny to them. So, you know, and I'm pretty sure they didn't read much on Cybertron because they're in the middle of a freaking war for a thousand years. So, yeah. So there's that. And also, they couldn't really read the ancient symbols because... Well, no one can, except for Jetfire, who's, like, elderly. So there's that. And that's it. And let's read the comments. Uh, looks like there's only one, but let's read it. I understand this is a very late comment. I just got back into Transformers. But you can't be serious. Some people really interpret everything into anything. I mean, come on, really? What are your points you bring, bring up to prove the movie's racism that they turn it into racing cars? Yeah. Yep. See? So, this is the worst article ever, and it just proves that they aren't really racist characters in reality. They're just robots who have accents. 
And they have accents because they use the internet to look up English. That's how they learn English. That's what Optimus Prime says in the first movie. I'll even give you a transcript. So how do you guys learn to speak like that? The World Wide Web. There, see? Optimus himself said they use the internet to learn English. I also like how uh, Skids and Mudflap are criticized for having accents, but then Jazz wasn't. But And everyone loved Jazz. And everyone was sad because he died. Well, I'm sad because Skids and Mudflap were cut from Dark of the Moon and were just reduced to a cameo because I really like their characters. They're even on my profile picture. So... This article is stupid, and it just shows that anyone who thinks, like, fictional, like, they're robots. They're robots. They're alien robots who learn their language from the internet. So, yeah. And Jar Jar... Anyone who thinks Jar Jar is racist is a freaking idiot. He's Jar Jar. He's an alien. I don't... <sighs> and the fact that I had to go on Wikipedia and make sure this wasn't a parody news website just proves how stupid this article is. Because I actually thought this was a joke article and I was getting tricked, but no, I wasn't because this is a real article written by real people and I don't... <sighs> yeah. So, overall... No, it is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen is not racist. If anything, the people who wrote this article are racist. Because they looked, they did all this. Also, isn't this technically a slur towards white people? Not sure if it is. I, I don't know. I think it is. But... I mean, that's kind of hypocritical saying this, and yet you're talking about racism. Oh, yeah, there's also this. I mean, it's not that bad, but you know. All right, so. Yeah. That's it. Point is, no, it's not. And Skids and Mudflap are not racist. So, yeah. <laughs>